My name is Sue Moreno, and the artwork that I created for Art in the Loop is called Living Together as a Community. I am a 67-year-old Chicana from the Midwest. Um, I was born in Iowa and uh, have lived in Kansas City for the last 40 years. I'm a feminist and a lesbian and am constantly doing my work trying to show what a positive part and, a, and what a complete part so many of us that are not recognized have to contribute to community and society. The meaning behind my work is to show, especially women, uh, how powerful we can be when we work together as a community and how important we are as pillars building the community around us and making sure that we remember ourselves that w there are no boundaries. We, we have no gravity around us. We're free to express and to fly and achieve as high as we can. And with the help of other sisters and other women and our uh, husbands and, and brothers and fathers, it, it's possible, but it's a matter of we've always been thought of as second class citizens are not equal. And that's a myth that I'm trying to get erased. Well, what the word means to me, not only in Spanish, it's really powerful. It's about community. It's about coming together. And it's really, I was so glad that they chose that word because it shows the cross-cultural and how global really we need to the society to come together and how much peaceful and we can live together. We can agree to disagree, but we can also constantly live, lift each other up. There's just too much, uh, too much negative and people always putting other people down. And why? What for? We're all a part of the human race. Well, I applied that to my piece. It's like it came to me with not only the swirling and the movement of my painting, showing the women flying all over the universe to show that it's just not Kansas City, but it's a universal word. And it's a commitment to each as people and how important that is to have that flow in my artwork showing the background as movement and that the bodies are moving uh, in the piece. I hope that's what people get out of it, but everybody's gonna get something different from that uh, experience of looking at the work. And it was just so much fun to do. It was great experience. I've never painted outside before, live, never done that. So it was so cool. I really wanted to apply for Art in the Loop because I feel that uh, they're very community-based and Kansas City is at a, a threshold where it is really being recognized for the art and the artists in the community and the athletic teams and everything we're about in the Midwest. Um, and I feel a lot of times it's overlooked, but it's, it's a jewel. And uh, to be a part of that was really exciting. And I included in uh, some of the people that I work with in, at Arts Tech, which is an organization, a non-for-profit organization that mentors young people, high school students, to go after careers like graphic design, painting, ceramics. And so they helped me also. So it, it was great experience having them come out and help me too. I think the most unexplainable thing is when I had a phone call from uh, Peacock, um, Peacock television station through NBC and they called me and asked me if I would participate in the gentle art of Swedish death cleaning. And it changed my life. Them coming here, filming in Kansas City, doing my story, uh, my development and 
participation in the founding of Womantown in Kansas City, and just going through that grief process and uh, launching my art career. The most unexpected joy that happened to me recently was that I was able to um, take a trip and go to the Tetons and Yellowstone Park, and it was just beautiful. It was gorgeous. You can find me. I have some work at the Nelson Art Gallery. I'm very, very honored to be a part of the 21 other Latino artists called um, A Layered Presence. It will be, it's been up at the Nelson for one year. And I'll be hosting art workshops at the Miniature Toy Museum and also at the uh, Arts Tech building and you can find those websites online. I look forward to always be creating art. Mm -hmm.